it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is make sure you know your guest. Ask more questions to your clients. Here is the situation. There's not many weddings I plan where I have a ton of smokers. And if we do have a cigar bar or the occasional specialty cigar bar, it's usually at an outdoor wedding. And so if you have guests sprawled out over the park or wherever the outdoor wedding is, they can still see what's going on. Here's what happened. We had a beautiful venue that had three different areas. So we had an outdoor area for cocktail hour, an area for dinner that was indoors, and then dancing that was also indoors. And so naturally, that's where the DJ was going to go, where everyone was supposed to be dancing. So everyone knew about the cocktail area first that was over this beautiful awning and they knew that you could smoke out there. I got them to move in for dinner, which was fine. And then they wanted to go back outside and there was a bar out there. The bar was only supposed to be open during cocktail hour. And then as we tried to get the guests to transition from the dinner to the dancing area where the DJ was, where the cake was, where the first dance, the father, daughter, mother, groom, where all the special things were supposed to be happening, no one wanted to go in there. They all wanted to go back outside underneath that pretty awning and they wanted to socialize and smoke. So it was nearly impossible for me to get everyone from outside, and again, the weather was beautiful, so why would they want to come inside, in to see the cake cutting, the special dances. So I got all the VIPs, the parents, the wedding party to make sure that they didn't miss anything. So the poor DJ didn't have anyone to play music to after all of the special dances were done. We cut the cake. Again, most of the guests were outside. I just wish I would have asked more questions and I wish I would have known that over half of their guests were chain smokers and they wanted to stay outside and enjoy the weather and hang out and socialize. They didn't care about dancing. They didn't care about the DJ. And I felt horrible. And so I even asked the DJ, do you want to move outside? The bride and groom didn't care. They didn't care at all. They just wanted to hang out with their friends. And again, their friends were outside smoking. And so we opened the bar back up outside and there, we couldn't get power outside. There was no sound outside. So for the DJ to pack up and move outside would have been a big shuffle. So we piped in music from the venue and no one really danced. And again, I had wish I had gone back and asked questions. So now I make sure that if we're going to be in different rooms or different areas and I'm moving crowds that the crowds are actually going to follow and they're actually going to be interested in what's going on. So make sure that you ask your clients about their guests before you do your floor plan. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, AngelaProfit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.